Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for making a brand new project. This is the Dragonflies in Flight Crochet Shawl. This gorgeous shawl is worked from the top down in a dragonfly motif. The sample is shown in number five bulky weight yarn, but you could make this in any weight yarn. It's a top down construction. Just continue in the established increase pattern to make it any size. The sample is shown with 725 yards of number five bulky weight yarn and an L11 or eight millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a yarn needle and scissors. And for the demonstration today, I'll be using a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook and a number three DK weight yarn. Let's get started. Make sure you watch video part one so you can learn how to make this really beautiful top down increasing shawl with the dragonfly motif in it. I'm going to show you how to do the edging not on the actual row 32 and you may wonder why and that's because this is a top down shawl and I want you to feel empowered to be able to make it in any weight yarn. The pattern repeat that you learned in the first video can be applied for as many repeats as you want, or you could follow the pattern precisely from rows one through 31 and be set up to work the edging row. So this would be row 32 in the pattern, but it is also what you would work at the end of the shawl if you ended on a different repeat. So row 32 or the edging row, wherever you end up wanting to do it, starts with slip stitching into the first chain two space. Chain three counts as a double crochet and work four double crochets in that same space. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. We'll do that three more times. chain one, turn, and single crochet in that first double crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Chain five, skip two double crochets and single crochet in the next double crochet. Turn our work, chain 11, five double crochet popcorn in the fourth chain from your hook. This loop on your hook is your working loop. That doesn't count, so we'll count back one, two, three, four. Five double crochet popcorn is to start by working five double crochets in that chain. And the technique of turning it into a popcorn is to let go of the loop on your hook. Count back, that's the fifth, fourth, third, second, and first. So we insert our hook into the top of the first double crochet, then insert our hook back into our working loop and pull it through that first stitch. And that cinches those five double crochets together to create the five double crochet popcorn. Chain three. And then we're going to slip stitch into that same chain that was the fourth chain from our hook to begin the popcorn. Chain seven. And then we'll come back down now to our original four double crochets at the beginning of this repeat and slip stitch into that same fourth double crochet. And I'm gonna set this down now so you can see, and we'll do this a second time. You're not gonna to have to remember this from one repeat. I know this is complicated. So we started by working our four double crochets across then chain, then turned our work, chain one single, chain five single, then turned our work again, then it was the chain 11, five double crochet popcorn in the fourth chain from your hook, chain three, slip stitch in the same chain, chain seven, and slip stitch in the same stitch over here. Okay, so let's do that again. We'll work four double crochets in the next chain two space. Okay, chain one, turn our work, single crochet in the first double, chain five, skip two doubles and single crochet in the next double, 
chain 11. And then five double crochets in the fourth chain from our hook to begin a five double crochet popcorn. Remove the hook from your working loop, count back to the first of those five doubles, then insert your hook into the working loop to pull it through and, oops, well, sometimes you make a mistake, whatever. <laughs> Let's go back. So now we're back to three doubles of our five. It's okay. You make a mistake, you just fix it. Okay, then we move our hook insert into the first of the five, insert our hook back into the working loop of the fifth and pull it through. Chain three. Slip stitch into that same fourth chain that we worked the popcorn into as well. Chain seven. Okay, and then make sure our work is turned in the proper direction. Remember, we're working our edging same as, uh, ideally, we're working our edging the same way we work our crochet. So if you're a left-hander, a left-hand crochet, you're gonna do this opposite as I'm doing. I'm right-handed, so I'm working from right to left. If you're left-handed, you're doing all of this left to right, but we worked the four double crochets, then turned to do the single chain five single, then turned again to do the chain 11, the popcorn, the chain seven, and now, working in our original position. We'll now slip stitch into that same last double crochet and we have a second repeat of this edging done. So you're going to work in this established pattern all the way across. The last row is set up to have only chain two spaces. So it'll always start with four doubles, then turn single, chain five, single, then turn again, 11, chain 11, popcorn, chain seven and slip stitch. So you'll work in three directions, so it'll be the four doubles, the singles and the chains, then the chains and the popcorns, and then your position to start the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. The pattern includes written instructions and charts to do this absolutely gorgeous edging, which is a perfect fit to this really beautiful shawl. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. And if you check out the video description, I've provided links for everything we talked about in this video. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.